What is going on, James? This is Darius from Auto Fair Nissan here, and today we're going to be taking a look at this 2023 Nissan Rogue SV. Let's check it out. This Rogue is in pearl white tri coat. You're going to see down here on the wheels. These are machine finished aluminum alloy, and they've got that two tone look going on to them where you've got the silvery front and like the dark chrome. Uh, inner wheel pockets there. This SV also is going to have something special, the premium package. Premium package is an awesome, awesome feature set on the, the Rogue. Gives you some nice things. Uh, you're going to have like remote starter. You're going to have a uh, moon roof that's dual panoramic, heated seats, heated wheel, Primatech synthetic leatherette seats. Um, also in the back here, you're going to have these awesome built-in sunshades. Great if you have kids or passengers in the back seat often. So they just stow right in the door, lift them up, and then they lock up into place on each side. So those are built right in. These doors also open almost a full 90 degrees, so it makes it really easy to load in cargo, car seats, etc. Got your cup holder armrest here that folds up. Nice and easy. Down on the console here, you're gonna have your USB ports. Whoop, sunlight getting at it. You got a type A and a type C down there for your backseat passengers and your vent. And from here, if you need to put the seats down, just give this a grab, pull, drops right down. Nice and easy, and it folds flat. We'll see from the back exactly how flat that is. At the back of the car here, you're gonna see on your key fob, you've got your controls for remote starter, lock, unlock, and your power rear lift gate, uh, which is part of that SV Premium package. So just press and hold that for about a second. It'll pop open. You heard the three beeps that it made first. You've also got a button on here to close it. And uh, the one on the right, if you hit it, it'll close and lock it. So you got your trunk space back here. Plenty of room. It's very, uh, very spacious, especially with this being a little bit more of an uh, right angle back compared to the old ones um, it kind of comes out farther and almost straight down so you get a little bit more height out of it too with the seats down it is nice and flat there so if you have any cargo that you're carrying around frequently it's going to be really convenient for that but even with the seats up plenty of room um, this is going to be all your extras that comes with it here You've got your floor mats your trunk mat your rear seat back protectors and even your first aid kit that has velcro on the back so if you're like me you can just throw it onto the back of the seat and uh, just kind of forget about it until you need it. Let's go to the front. Everything on the inside of the car here is going to be all soft touch. This is all this leatherette. So is this. This is going to be along with the dash up here. It's all two-tone. So you've got this dark brown and then black accents throughout the car. Uh, that's going to provide a little bit of breakup to the black interior as well as it does help reduce a little bit of the glare on the dashboard. Um, and it just looks nice. Makes it feel a little bit more spacious in here. Your seats in here, like I said, are the Primatech synthetic leatherette. So you can see this is like a, like a leather-esque a little bit different. So this is pretty padded and you've got some nice firm bolsters to help keep you in place uh, while you're going through turns and stuff. But it's very comfortable, uh, almost indiscernible from, from real leather. Uh, but with the synthetic, it is gonna be more consistent instead of having thin and thick patches like in uh, leather. So your wear over time should be more even throughout. Your driver's seat is also fully powered with power lumbar support as well. Taking a look down here on the panel on the dashboard you've got your button to disable your uh, idle start stop so when you come to a stoplight and this car turns off uh, and then restarts as you let off the brake if you don't like that feature you can turn it off right there power trunk button and your steering assist button right there if you want to enable or disable that on the fly on your turn signal stock here you've got all your different positions for your headlights auto mode push the button in here and it goes into automatic high beams as well so high beams will come on and off automatically as needed when you have your headlights in auto in that mode Getting into the car here, you can see on your dashboard, try to get you some without any glare. I'm gonna start it up right now. You're gonna see the starting sequence here. Get you zoomed out a little bit. There we go. So on your advanced drive assist display, you've got all sorts of different menus, tire pressures, music, all your safety stuff, tons of settings to go through. And this is kind of your, your standard home screen here that's going to have your digital speedometer it'll show you your uh, music when you change music and stuff and then you've got down there 369 miles to empty on the car get the focus back in play there 369 miles to empty um, on the full tank of gas right now as you drive that mileage can go up um, in my household we actually have a 2023 rogue and fuel economy averages right about 38 so you can get almost 500 miles out of a tank which is pretty pretty nice course driving style is going to um, impact that greatly. Um, all your controls for that advanced drive assist display are the left and right button here scrolling up and down and pushing in for okay. You've got your music controls here 
and then paddle shifters on the back as well if you want to do manual simulated gear shifts with those on this side you've got your controls for um, push to talk and then to answer and hang up calls and then the rest of this is going to be for cruise control so this does have pro pilot assist for the cruise control um, so it does have the steering assist while you're going and you can uh, set your distance pacing manually here as well on your touch screen up here it is a line of sight screen so it sits pretty much in level with uh, the rest of your dashboard, but it's not in the way. So if I put my uh, phone camera right up here, right where my eyes are, you can see it's not in the way of the road at all. It's gonna be still on the dashboard, but you don't have to look way down there to see anything. Um, this is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatible. You just have to plug into one of the two USB ports down here for that, and it'll pop right up on the screen after you do your initial setup. Down here, you've got dual zone climate control. Um, your individual controls for temperature are the wheels, and then you've got your fan speed is going to be joint there on the right. You can also sync it right up with a press of that button. Um, steering wheel heater is right here. That's an on-off, uh, and then your heated seat controls are going to be here. You've got high, medium, low, and off, um, and those can actually come on when you remote start the car if it's cold out. Push the start button right there. You got your electronic shifter right here that's a little bit different than uh, a conventional shifter. So with my foot on the brake, if I want to go to drive, I'll just give it a quick pull back. Now we're in drive and it'll show on there as well as right there. You got D for drive, P for park. So to go into park, all you have to do is press the button on top. So from drive, just do that. That's park. For reverse, you got to push the little button on the side, push it all the way forward. When you go into reverse, your backup camera will pop on there. I know it's kind of hard to see with the light, but you've got your guidelines and your distance indicators there um, in orange uh, for the guideline and then the distance indicators in red, yellow, and green. I'm gonna go back to park just with a push of that button. Got your cup holders here, drive mode selector, uh, your brake auto hold, which is a fun little feature to hold the, the brakes when you come to a stop until you press the gas pedal. And then your electronic parking brake. So I tell people the easiest way to think of the electronic parking brake is like a handbrake that you pull up and then push down when you release. So to engage it, pull up and it's gonna kick in. Little red light turns on and it shows park up there on the dashboard. To disengage, you gotta put your foot on the brake, push down, that's it, and it goes away. Um, looking up, we're gonna have our panoramic moonroof as part of that premium package. So it's front and back that it's gonna cover, which is really nice, it makes it very spacious feeling in here. You got your controls for that. This one here is gonna control the glass itself, and then this one's gonna control the shade. SOS button is part of your telematics, all your light controls, sunglass holder very important and then last thing down here we're going to have our butterfly door style armrest so you've got two little parts to it just give a little pull on that and it opens up on its own very comfortable looks good feels good uh, if there's anything that i may have missed going through this video for you uh, feel free to let us know uh, i hope you learned something in here i hope you like the car uh, if there's anything that you want to ask for questions or if you'd like to schedule a time to see the car i will leave contact information in the description below uh, other than that thank you for watching and we hope to see you soon